Hello everyone, this is Roxana from Advance in English. In today's video, we're going to talk about the past perfect continuous verb tense. Let's go! The form of the past perfect continuous verb tense looks like this. Had plus been plus the present participle. The first use of the past perfect continuous is to talk about the duration of something before another point in the past. It shows that something started in the past and continued up until another point that was also in the past. It's quite similar to the present perfect continuous, however this duration stops before now, it stops in the past, whereas the present perfect continuous continues up until now. For example, my friend had been waiting for three hours before she got on the bus. So she started waiting a long time in the past, she got on the bus in the past, so we're going to use the past perfect continuous to talk about the point from when she started waiting until she got on the bus in the past. How long had you been studying English before you subscribed to my YouTube channel? Leave a comment below answering that question. This one's a bit tricky because if you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, then this verb tense doesn't work. So don't forget to subscribe. The second use of the past perfect continuous is to talk about the cause of something in the past. For example, I was really tired yesterday because I had been teaching all day. So the reason that I was tired yesterday was because of my long day at school. Now you've got to be careful between using the past continuous and the past perfect continuous. If you don't use a duration of time, such as for five minutes since last week, then you could just use the past continuous. However, it could change the meaning. For example, if I say I was tired because I was teaching, that means I was tired because at that exact moment I was teaching. It refers to the exact moment. If I use the past perfect continuous and say I was tired because I had been teaching, that focuses more on the duration of time. It could mean that I was still teaching at that moment of being tired, or maybe I had just finished teaching and as a result I was tired. Okay, so now you know the form and the uses of the past perfect continuous verb tense. Thank you for watching this video. If it was useful for you, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe so you can advance in English. See you soon. Bye for now.